Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I'm coming on today to show you a few bits that I did yesterday, um, but I won't upload this video until they've been received because it is for a swap. So, uh, some ATC coins and some twinches. So, this was the first coin that I made. And I... As lots of you that watch me on a regular basis, you'll know that I've cut, already cut out loads and loads of circles. Um, so this is some of their painty paper circles. And it looks as though I'd used pixie powders to do the background. Purples and greens. And then I put a little piece of butterfly washi tape there. And then one of the tiny little flowers that I did a while ago and then just in the for the center i just used some of the dovecraft pearl effects stuff just to pop a little gem in and i still 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 haven't found out where i saw that from i really must go through all my atcs i'm sure it's on something that's come into the house and I thought oh, that's a good idea but I can't remember where I saw it and then I've just got words loads of words already cut out of books and I just put sweet and number 36 just because and then went round the edge with gold embossing powder just stamped it on the back so I made it on the 1st of March so that's that one and I also made one for myself which I always keep the one that I least like and this this is it purely because I hadn't put any see that one's got splashes on the flower but this one when I'd done them I hadn't put splashes on same idea just a pink flower pink stuff and a pink gem different words so that's that um, and then I actually did this one first before the flower one but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, this B one, the background again was painty paper that I did several years ago, and I think it's and don't think it's covered it up a bit now. But it it is slightly uh, honeycomb shaped. I'd use chicken wire, <laughs> chicken wire on the gel plate. Uh, no, no, I don't think I use the gel plate. Just chicken wire on the paper and then sprayed over it and then you've got a very fine line that looks a little bit like honeycomb so I used that and then the bee and the honeycomb stamp and the bee happy were from the oh what's it called the magazine <laughs> um, uh, indigo blue magazine and just cut it out of black card and then heat embossed it with black sparkle i think it was the black glitter one and then heat embossed with copper around there and then just white on the for the letters the be happy i nearly put happy bee i might do some happy bee ones another day it doesn't have to be be happy does it it can be happy bee because i'm sure he is a happy little bee she is a little happy little bee and then that's the one i did myself and i just muffed it up a tiny little bit there when i went around the edge with white so but other than that there's no difference really that's that one then we've got twinches Again, some of my painted paper and this, and you can't really see it now because it's all covered up, but it was one of the painted papers where I'd used all the scraps to make like a master board. Just cut it into squares and then used loads of uh, little stamps and bits and bobs with different embossing powders. Then I found these little boy. What I wanted something else, and I thought, hmm, it needs something else. And I've got um, 
a pad of, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a pad of butterflies and flowers that I'd bought in a de-stash. So I just cut some little butterflies out, went round the edges with the different embossing powders. don't know whether it's picking up or it's loads of texture going on work with the the different uh, layers of the papers and the embossing and um, then I just went over it with a little bit of stickles on the butterfly because I felt it looked a little bit flat and then just some words out of a book again that's that one these are all pretty much the same this one's got loads of texture on nobbles and bits and bobs again all different sorts of embossing powders different little stamps and bits and bobs i am telling you wrong and i haven't got it now it wasn't from a um a, a sheet of scrap paper can you remember when oh, i've left it downstairs damn it remember when i did it's still out of scraps but i did that great big um till roll big till roll snip it like a long it's about two and a quarter inches by 10 miles long snip it roll that's what the paper's off i was thinking it was off a whole a4 sheet but it isn't it was from there Again, all different embossing powders, stamps and glitter. And then this one. Oh, and these two, I did go round with a white pen. Because that one had already got white on it. So I went round with a white pen on there. Yes, all different sort of the embossing powders and that. That's what I did and then you've seen these before if you watch my videos uh, send in some inches little inches that I've done did these a while ago oops that's upside down it's triumphantly upside down <laughs> These were from scraps off of something else that I'd done. These were from uh, um, scrap papers that I'd pasted down, similar to that. And then these were just little bits left over when I was cutting some doilies out the other week and I got some scraps left and that was those. I have shown those before so that's my little show and tell for today when today will be for you I don't know As I say I've got to get them packaged up and sent off and then I will upload it so thank you ever so much for watching and I will speak to you soon take care bye